What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. Today's video is the third and final video in the OEM Audio Plus sound upgrade series. If you haven't seen my two previous videos where I installed the System 500 and then the speaker upgrade from OEM Audio Plus, I will link those videos down in the description and I highly suggest you go watch those first and then come back to this video. So in that first video I installed the System 500 from OEM Audio Plus which is the digital signal processing amplifier and the vehicle specific subwoofer, in my case a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. So that vehicle specific subwoofer for the Tacoma fits behind the driver side rear seat in the storage compartment and it's built to fit in there perfectly. And in the second video, I unplugged the sub and the amp that I installed in the first video. And I did that so that I could do a direct comparison between the stock Tacoma speakers and the OEM Audio Plus speakers that I installed in that second video. So like I said, go back and watch those two videos if you haven't seen them already, because they'll provide a little bit of insight and a lot more information that you may wanna know before watching this video. So for this video, I plugged the amplifier and the sub back in on the back of the head unit in the Tacoma. And I did that so I could get the OM Audio Plus Reference 500 system, which is essentially all of the speakers, the sub and the amp paired together. By the way, if you're watching this video and you don't own a Tacoma, OEM Audio Plus makes sound systems for other vehicle makes and models. So go to their website and check it out if you're interested in a system like this. So like I said, in plugging the amp and the sub back in, that basically gave me the full Reference 500 system from OEM Audio Plus. So the Reference 500 system is a $1,600 sound system that includes the digital signal processing amplifier, the vehicle specific subwoofer, and the six speakers, which are the 6.5 inch coaxial speakers in the rear, the six by nine woofers in the front, and the one inch soft dome tweeters for the very front up by the windshield. So with that system in place and the sub and the amp plugged back in, I went in the truck and similar to the previous two videos, I played the same five songs that kind of spanned a few different genres, including rock, country, hip hop, and rap. And that's to give me a good range of, you know, different listening scenarios. Plus, I listen to a very wide variety of music. So I definitely wanted to know how the system performed for different types of music with different bass levels and whatnot. So with that said, in the previous video, I said I missed the sub that I installed in the first video and plugging that back in for this video, the Reference 500, was again a night and day difference over not having that sub and that's pretty obvious that's nothing new but that sub paired with the oem audio plus speakers that also provided more bass to the vehicle as a whole it, it's just insane you know it pairs very nicely the bass coming from behind you with the sub is crisp it's clear and it's loud you feel it the bass and the speakers is pretty good you know they rattle the doors a little bit not to the point that it sounds bad but you know you can feel it but in those songs when the bass is really hitting the sub behind you kicks really hard and it sounds awesome and then of course the amplifier with the OEM Audio Plus speakers is a great combination it's a lot better than the amplifier with the stock speakers and if you saw my previous video you saw how crappy and paper thin the stock speakers were. So that amplifier being able to be paired with the OEM Audio Plus carbon fiber speakers makes a huge difference. The music is a lot louder, a lot clearer, and just better sounding overall. You can definitely tell it's a more high quality system when paired all together how it's intended to be. So would I recommend the Reference 500 system from OEM Audio Plus for the price? And personally, yes, I would. And my main reasoning for that and why I think it's worth the price tag is it's completely plug and play. You're not gonna find another system on the market that's as easy to install and is as plug and play where you don't have to do any splicing or cutting or anything crazy like that. You literally just run the wires and plug it in. If you're not you know, mechanically inclined or you don't like doing electric work, then getting a custom system, 
it's just not going to work out for you unless you go and spend a few hundred dollars for uh, an audio professional to set it up and install it for you. But on the other hand, with the OEM Audio Plus system, I truly believe pretty much anybody could install it with a very basic set of skills and tools. If you know you can pop out trim panels, then you're pretty much set and good to go. So I think that alone makes it worth the cost. But in addition, obviously the system is great. The music sounds incredible on it. Uh, you get a lot of bass and you know the clarity of the music is just a hundred times better than the stock system. That said, you can probably set up a system that's similar or better for cheaper, but the downside of a custom system is it's not gonna be plug and play. There's gonna be a significant amount of work put in to get the system to work in the truck. Number one, you know, just getting the wires run and whatnot. And number two, actually, you know, tuning it and making it sound good for the inside of your Tacoma. So if you're a true audiophile and you know, you care about the numbers, you care about, you know, having the deepest bass and the loudest speakers, maybe the OEM Audio Plus system isn't for you and you'd be better off going with a custom system. But if you're just a regular person such as myself, then I think the OEM Audio Plus system is definitely the way to go because it's plug and play. And then the final question and really the reason for me splitting this series up into three separate videos is, you know, should I go with the speaker upgrade? Should I go with the system 500, you know, just the amp and the subwoofer, or should I go with the reference 500, the full system? In my opinion, if you have the money, I say buy once, cry once, go with the reference 500 system. Uh, that's going to be your best bang for your buck. It's the best deal. You know, it comes with the speaker system and the system 500, which is the amp and the sub. So, you know, for $1,600, you're saving a couple hundred dollars by just going and getting the full system right off the bat. But I think the System 500, so the amp and the sub, I think that's a great system for someone who maybe has already upgraded their stock speakers to, you know, some type of speakers that they like, or someone who maybe doesn't want to either put in the work or pay for someone to replace their speakers. So I think that's a great system that's gonna provide a lot of value, especially in the bass alone, but also with the amplifier making the music louder and a little bit better through those stock speakers. And then finally, obviously the cheapest option for around $500, the speaker upgrade. I 100% think this speaker upgrade is worth it if you just want to replace your speakers. Like I showed in the last video, the quality of the OEM Audio Plus speakers is light years ahead of the stock Tacoma speakers. Uh, like I said, they're paper thin, whereas the OEM Audio Plus speakers are made out of carbon fiber. They have much stronger and bigger magnets on the back that will help drive the speakers a lot more efficiently. So in summary, I definitely would recommend the OEM Audio Plus system altogether. Any of their systems, the speaker upgrade, the System 500, or the Reference 500, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them, but my recommendation would be to go for that Reference 500 if you're planning to do the sub and the speakers together at any point because it's gonna save you a couple hundred bucks. All right guys, so I hope you found this video series helpful and informative. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and maybe drop a comment or something. It'll help me out with the algorithm. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're notified when the new video comes out. Only a very small percentage of my subscribers actually have that bell icon clicked, so they're not getting notified when my new videos are coming out. So make sure you hit it if you see this video. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.